guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Julio Arce, what the heck? Julio Arce versus Danilo Santos. Danilo Santos was, was beaten by Murad Kalimov three years ago, and then he beat Henrik Finiti, Finiti uh, spinning back kick, and then he won his uh, next fight two years ago, so he hasn't fought in two years, which is a little weird. It's whatever that name is. <laughs> but he's fighting Julio Arce, who I think is underrated. Um, he's 2-3 and three in his last five. He lost a split decision to Shaman Morais. Probably a fight he probably won. He defeated uh, Julian Arosa. And then he lost to Hakeem Dawadu in a fight that I thought was very, very close. And then he beat Andre Yule. Looked really, really good in that fight. And then he lost to Yang Song, Yadong Song. In a fight that um, Julio Arce looked gun shy. He's always been a guy that puts a lot of output out there. Obviously, out there, output, yeah. He's all, he's a guy that always does a lot of output. He's always pushing forward. And for some reason, probably because of the power, he was worried about the power with Yadong Song. Um, he didn't do that. He didn't lead the dance. He kind of uh, waited back and whatever. And he, when he got caught with that head kick, he got put down. For the first time in his career, he was he got put down. Um, he was finished, what, two, three minutes in the first round? It wasn't very, uh, it was it was pretty quick. Let me see. Julio Arce. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is the first time he's been finished. Second round, a minute, 35 seconds. And again, the big issue that he ran into in that fight was he wasn't leading the dance. I made sure I clicked that right. Yes, I did. Um, but he wasn't clicking the... Uh, clicking. Fucking idiot. Yeah, he wasn't leading the dance. That's where he's best. Um, he does. He did do good um, falling back a little bit with Julio, uh, Julian Arce, uh, Julian Erosa. Because Julian Rosa is going to push forward. His, his chin's going to be there. You just got to pick your shots. And that's what Julio, uh, Julio Arce did. Again, it had to have been because he was worried about the power and the speed of Yadong Song. Um, and he, he paid the price for that. But typically, he fights very, very well moving forward. You got to expect him to come out uh, hot hot in this next round, next fight. Because, you know, he, he's 3-2 and two in his last five. He's lost two split decisions, and then he's finished in his last one. He's 17 and five overall, five seven, with a 70 inch reach. Fighting Danilo, Daniel Santos, probably over it is. D uh, Daniel Santos, 10 and one, four and one his last five, plus 170 underdog, probably because he's a debut and he hasn't fought in the UFC yet. 27 years old, also five seven. Again, if we know anything about uh, Dick. Daniel Santos, if you look him up, you watch his fights, he's very, very explosive. So Julio Arce is going to have to close the distance, wrestle, at least grind, get a dirty box, you know, against the cage and all that stuff. And I have Julio Arce winning the fight, but it could get a little sketchy. But I have Julio Arce by decision. They all, people on here also have Julio Arce by decision. A lot of it, 16% by KO. 32% by uh, KO for Santos, 45% by decision, 76 by decision for Arce. Yeah, again, I have Julio Arce. Yeah, Julio Arce by decision. It's going to be a fun fight, though. It, hit the thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. It helps the channel out so much. 